Hello everyone, welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to see a hike towards a remote village which during uh, winter conditions can be accessed only by foot. Uh, at a certain point I'm exiting a really beautiful clearing and I have a really beautiful landscape to photograph. I discuss settings and the way I approach that particular place. After that there's a small vintage cottage that uh, I see with some haystacks and again I'm talking settings and the way I approach uh, the composition over there and in the end I reach the village and I'm using the 70 to 200 millimeter and also a special feature in my camera to manage to capture some minimalistic shots. Hello everyone, my name is Toma, Photo Tom here on YouTube. I'm a full-time landscape and travel photographer, so if you're interested in this kind of topics, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also in the link of this video, there are uh, my workshops and my editing courses. Maybe you're interested in joining me in one of my adventures, so check it out, the links are over there. And now, let's get back to the video. The gear that I'll be using today is a Canon EOS R and uh, the lenses are 24 to 105 f4 L lens image stabilized and also the Canon 70 to 200 millimeters again f4 again image stabilized and L lens. In my hike towards this remote village I reached a place from where I have an opening and as you can see around me it's starting to snow. It's not snowing that bad, I can photograph but it's snowing beautifully. It's snowing in a way that it makes you think about winter holidays, Christmas, or uh, the beauty of the mountains. The first shot that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the 24 to 105 millimeter. I'm gonna um, use a higher ISO value. It's a 640 ISO, F8, but the exposure time is 320th of a second. That is the reason for which I bumped up the ISO. Now, yes, I'm gonna have a little bit of noise, but I think it's worth it because I want to freeze the motion of the snowflakes, the falling of the snowflakes. I don't wanna have streaks. I don't wanna have white lines because of a longer exposure. And that is the reason for which I increased the ISO. In terms of composition, I'm using this tree as um, an element that will stop the eye to the right and then I'm also having a little bit of this uh, the edge of these trees and then I'm having this diagonal that goes a little bit off to this tree and then the eye goes back towards in the distance towards that peak so it's a crisscross combination it's like a zigzag it takes you from left to right to left to right and then again to left it kind of takes you in a small journey through the frame and I think this is um, a small little formula for a really interesting landscape photo. Another shot that I want to do is the pine tree behind me, that one over there with the small fans that is coming down, the white of the snow and the darkness of the forest behind it. I think it creates contrast and I think it's going to be a minimalistic shot that will look great. The settings for this shot change a little bit because the speed of the snow that is falling changed it became a little faster that is why I took the uh, F aperture 
down, I went to 6.3 and this gave me the ability to go even with a shorter exposure time, 500th of a second, keeping the ISO at 640. Of course I could have had F8 um, and bumped the ISO again, but I think 640 is more than enough. I don't want too much noise because there's going to be a little bit of um, feeling of noise because of the snowflakes that are frozen uh, and uh, have the forest, the dark forest in the background. Before moving on I think there is time for one last shot in this location. It's a much more intimate shot. It's a shot where I have the top of the pine trees and then I have a diagonal in the background and a big uh, wall of rock that is going up and of course the snowflakes falling down on all these. It's an intimate shot and it's a shot that I think creates um, creates a feeling of a fairy tale and it, it, it takes you inside the forest. And now it's time to pack my gear and continue the hike. I stopped again near a very beautiful and really old house. Probably a long time ago it was inhabited, but it's not anymore. It's used as a summer hut where people come and uh, gather the hay, make these haystacks and then leave back to their homes. Now in terms of composition I think there are two ways of framing this. First one includes the haystacks in the lower left uh, part of the image and then the house in the upper right part and the second shot includes only the house um, with no haystacks but it uses the line of the fence as an underline that will connect the house to the ground and will create a strong image. The settings for this shot are again ISO 640, f6.3 and 400th of a second. Now the snow is starting to fall a little bit slower. It kind of gives me the impression that it's going to stop. Who knows, but if it's going to stop, I'm going to switch back to ISO 100, f8 and whatever exposure time is needed. I'm closing in the village and why I'm saying this is because I'm hearing lots of dogs barking. Now I really hope this will not pose a problem. Uh, I, I don't like <laughs> I don't like having lots of dogs running towards me. So I'll have to assess the situation. I'll have to uh, evaluate the situation and see if it's worth entering this uh, this uh, village. I'm alone when I'm hiking with others. It's not a big problem. The dogs are not violent, but. I don't know what, what could happen because these are uh, dogs that are used to guard the sheep during summer months. So I don't know what would happen if I would be alone and I, I will have to be extra careful. If you can see the nails over there in the door, those are nails pointing outside. Those nails are there to prevent the bears from getting in. It's a tough place to live and also an interesting one to hike in and photograph. I have one more slope to hike and I'm getting into the village. the village but the problem is that it's snowing hard and it's it's really windy the visibility is low so I'll have to evaluate the scene before I start photographing this time I just hope to find a place where I don't get blown in the face by the snow and the wind
the first shot that I'm gonna do is gonna be with this small vintage house and I really like how it looks it's so small it's tiny it's old it's snowing and the background it's absolutely fantastic for this shot I'm gonna take two shots one is gonna be horizontal and then one is gonna be in portrait mode and then I'm gonna decide later which one works better but what you're hearing in the distance are the dogs that probably pick out my scent I switched lenses now I'm photographing with a 70 to 200 millimeter lens the 200 millimeters is not enough and I'm using a feature that is probably available on any full frame mirrorless and that is to switch for, from a full frame to a crop sensor or a crop factor uh, on my Canon I have 1.6 crop factor which means the 200 millimeter becomes about 320 millimeters and this allows me to frame shots even closer and the best thing about this feature is of course that it's like I'm having two cameras with me a full frame and the crop what I'm after here in terms of composition there are um, fences houses the white of the snow functions as a negative space during some of the green it's not that great for this kind of shot in this uh, place but now the white of the snow looks really really great so uh, I'm creating graphical compositions and uh, when when you see these perfect lines created by the fences you I don't know why but you kind of feel it completely differently this was it for today hope you like it hope you'll subscribe if you're not already subscribed and if you have questions use the comment section below and also check the links in the description maybe you can join one of my workshops or buy one of my editing courses thanks for watching bye bye